Are you a professional? <laughs> Are you? That's it, Clark. Sure moves, boss. Oh, we're all in this together. What's up Griswold gang? Welcome back to the Clark Griswold YouTube channel. I am Mr. Clark Griswold. Thank you guys for being here today. If you are new to the channel or new to the strat, guys, we are about to change the way that you guys trade in the stock market. If you haven't done so below, go down, click that subscribe button and then hit the bell. That's the important part. That bell will give you the notifications for when I send out videos exactly like this one guys if you haven't seen this channel before and you're not subscribed you're going to want to subscribe to this channel i promise you this right here will be the easiest trading strategy you will ever come across you don't need indicators you don't need rsis you don't need bear flags and bull flags and cup and handles and and all those other terms that, that people use in the trading community, this is the easiest way that you will find to trade, and it's called the strat, okay? By far, if you find something easier, let me know, okay? I have over 200 videos for you guys to learn off of. I've got what these candlestick numbers mean. I've got entries and exits, how to manage your trades, how, how to trade certain setups, what those setups are, and how to get into them. Um, it, that includes the 30 and 30 reversals, uh, Sarah Strat Sniper's 50% rule, okay? How to trade inside bars, outside bars, double inside bars, 3-1 setups, which we have right here, okay? I go through all of that. I've got a beginner learning tool video. I've got learning tool videos, okay? So go check out those videos. Make sure you subscribe down below. You can also follow me on Twitter, at Mr. Clark Griswold. You can comment there, you can DM me there, you can ask me any question you'd like, I will answer it for you, I will get back to you the same day. And I also put out trades throughout the day on there, I'll retweet trades that other guys are putting out. You can follow me there for all kinds of great information. Okay, um, before we get into this top 5 video, which this is what this is for June 22nd, Wednesday, June 22nd, it's a top 5 video, and guys, I put out videos like this every single day. I put out videos like this, I put out a main watch list, I put out weekly swings, monthly swings, I'll be putting out a quarterly swing video coming out at the end of June, okay? So, in saying that, I spend a lot of time doing these videos, I love doing them, I love bringing the information to you guys and teaching you guys. Um, and I want to keep it free for you guys. I want you, I, you guys don't have to pay for this stuff and you shouldn't have to pay for it. You should be able to learn this stuff for free and educate your stuff for free. That's what YouTube is for. And I wish I had it when I was younger, when I was a kid. And if you're young, you guys have a prime opportunity here to set you yourselves up for the rest of your lives, learning to trade is going to set you guys up for the rest of your lives. I wish I had this when I was younger, but YouTube wasn't really a thing. The internet wasn't really a thing. Um, it was just kind of coming around when I graduated. So this stuff wasn't here. So learn this stuff, watch the videos. And in order to keep this free for you guys, and I really want to do that, I'd ask you to watch those little 15 to 30 second video ads. Okay. And let those advertisers pay to have these videos up. Okay. Let them pay for your free educator, your education to keep it free. Okay, so let's get started on this top five watch list right now. And we are going to start with INTC. And INTC, we have a outside bar, which is also a three bar in the strat. If you don't know what these numbers mean, go check out my other videos. Okay, I have a video on the candlestick numbers. Okay, and it's followed by an inside bar or a one bar when we're talking about the strat. So an outside bar breaks the high and the low of the previous candle, and an inside bar does not break the high or the low of the previous candle. It stays within the range of that candle, and it's a tightening range. And so I always tell people, when you think of an inside bar or see an inside bar, think about a spring getting compressed and tightened and squished. And when you let go of that thing, 
it explodes to one direction or the other, okay? So this 3-1 setup, this pattern, is very, very rare. It doesn't happen very often. If we can go back and look in time and, and back test to see what this looks like, and we have these big drops off of this outside inside bar on INTC, we had this huge, huge drop. If you would have been in this trade for this long, you would have made two months worth of, of gains, a month worth of gains, a week worth of gains. It doesn't matter. You would have made a killing on that trade. Okay, I'm going to go back to try and find another one here. Here's another one. Break of this inside bar and a rocket to the downside. Okay, big wins there. This is a double inside bar setup, which was great. I'll look for one more 3-1 um, setup here, and we'll, we'll go over the entries and exits, and then we'll move on to the next trade. And this is how rare they are. I, I can't find another one. I have to go back to September of 2021. And again, this is not a foolproof plan, guys. But we do what the candlesticks tell us to do, and if the trade works, then we take our profits. And if it doesn't, we cut our losses early. Okay? So here we have, uh, where are we? Outside bar, inside bar. And I'll zoom in on this just a bit. Outside bar here, inside bar here. We break our trigger to the downside and hit targets one, two, and almost three. Looks like we just tagged it. Okay, so this again was a really, really great win off of a 3-1 setup, guys. So let's go back to our actual setup that we've got for tomorrow on Wednesday. We have this 3-1 setup. We're at the bottom of a broadening formation. We have the day and the week are green. Okay, so there's two scenarios that can play out here off of this 3-1 setup. We can break above the trigger and take calls or common shares at 38.03. That would be our trigger. Okay. And then we've got a first target here, which isn't great. Or you can call it magnitude or a pivot point, or where the, you know, where the bulls have their, or where the bears have their stop losses. You call it whatever you want. But that's our first target, okay? Our first order of magnitude. Then the next one is the next preceding wick up here, okay? So this day and this week stays green, and that's what I like to see on day trades: is this day and this week the same color? Anything after that is bonus and just more confluence that that trade is more likely to, to work, okay? The other option we have is if this trade breaks to the downside off of this inside bar. Now, if we do break that trigger to the downside right here, this day and this week will switch to red because this is where the day and the week sit to go green right now. Anything below this point right here at 37.38, this trade goes red. Okay, anything below that. So then we would have full time frame continuity to the downside. Okay, and then that would be our first target. So this INTC realistically has a has an opportunity to go either way, and um, that's that's good for us. I mean, we can take this trade to the upside. We can take this trade to the downside. But we watch it in the morning. Whichever it triggers first, that's that's the opportunity that we take. And again, like I said, these candlesticks tell us when to get in. They gave us triggers and they give us targets, okay? And it's just price action trading and that's all it is. There's, you don't need other indicators. What you see here is a broadening formation. And if we go back and look at this broadening formation on INTC and see how it plays out, it hits lower lows, lower lows, lower lows, lower lows before tagging higher highs, lower lows, this one comes back up, down to lower lows, back up to higher highs, lower lows, higher highs, back down to lower lows. So we can break through this, we can trend down on this line, or we can trend back up to tag the top of the broadening formation. And again, you can go watch that broadening formation video that I've got, and it shows you how to draw these things, where to draw them, and when to draw them, etc., etc. Okay, let's move on to setup number two. And these are in no particular order, guys. They're not setup one through five, best play to worst play. They're just a strictly top five play, and they are the, the five plays that I will be watching in the morning. And if they don't, if there is no setups on these, I kind of just sift through the rest of them. You can watch the main watch list for that. And if I don't see anything I like, I don't trade. That's doing something, okay? Not trading is a strategy. You don't always have to trade. You let the trade come to you, and then you take that trade. That's your job as a trader. 
Don't go hunting. Don't go searching. Don't go. Don't chase a trade. Okay. So XOP is next. We have this inside bar on XOP, and it's the same thing as a three one setup, but now we just have a two one setup. So the time frame continuity is the same as what we just looked at on INTC. If we trend to the upside, well, we've got the day and the week on our side, which I like to see. If we trend to the downside, we'll have the day and the week, the month and the quarterly all to our advantage. So again, calls at 135.81, puts at 131.54. And we can go back again and look in time and see off of this inside bar. And we trended up for five straight days off of this inside bar. Okay, this inside bar. Look at this run to the downside for two days. And just this run here alone on this one day, and that's actually off of a 3-1 setup, but this run down was ridiculously good. You would have made a ton of money on that trade. Inside bar, break to the upside for a win. Inside bar, break to the downside for the win. And this actually gapped down, so we would have ended up playing a gap on this. Here's another inside bar, break to the high side. Another inside bar, break to the high side. Uh, this inside bar ended up going outside bar, which is a three bar. But this inside bar had a nice break to the downside, inside bar to the upside. Okay, so inside bars, um, when I first started trading options, I wasn't great at it. I didn't even know what the hell I was doing. Um, and then I learned about the inside bars, and that's all I traded. And that's when I started to become successful uh, at trading options was when I started just watching for inside bars. And then I learned about the strat, and it was like a mind-blowing experience and and, and here we are with a, a Twitter page and a, and a YouTube channel and, and so on and so forth. And I never thought I'd be here, but I'm so thankful for Rob Smith and what he teaches. And Sarah Strat Sniper was actually the one that I first saw the Strat from on a Trading Wars YouTube video. And I always say this, I, I saw her on there and I'm like, what the hell is this girl talking about? Ones and twos and threes and I'm like, we're a bunch of garbage. And then I started seeing the strat more and more and more. And I'm like, I better look into this. I did. And it was like lights and bells going off. And I've never looked back. Okay. So trust me, you're going to want to learn this stuff and, and go forward with it. You will become a successful trader if you learn the strat and you trade the strat and you stick to the rules. Okay. Number three, XEL. And there's a lot of uh, utility energy gas plays uh, for tomorrow. This is another 3-1 setup and we take it just like the other one and we have the same opportunity with the time frame. If we trend to the upside, the day and the week are, are green. If we go to the downside, these flip to red and we have full time frame to the downside. Okay, and let's go back and look again. We have a 3-1 setup here and we had a little bit of a run to the downside. Not great, but good enough for some profit. This 3-1 setup here Trends to the downside for two days. Looks really good. Uh, do we have another 3-1? This double inside bar was great on XL. And here's the next 3-1. A really, really nice downtrend here off of that 3-1. And let's look for one more. There we go. Look at this. One, two, three, four days we trended up off of this 3-1 setup. So... I, I really love 3-1 setups. I, I was asked uh, the other day, someone asked me what my favorite setups are. I love these 3-1 setups. I love inside bar setups. Any inside bar setup, basically. If you can have a 3-1 setup or a 2-1 setup or a double inside bar setup or a triple inside bar setup, which are very, very rare. Um, but that's what I like to see. I love the 3-1s and I love the 2-1s. I think they're the easiest to play. A lot of people like the 2-2 reversals and they think that's the easiest to play. But I think these inside bars are, are easy to spot, so that's kind of my jam. Okay, number four is AMC. AMC has, what are we looking at here? AMC's got a two up that finished red. Okay, so if we zoom in on this play, and I get that time frame continuity uh, indicator up there. Right now, we've got full time frame continuity to the downside. We had a two up, which means we only surpassed the high of the previous candle. So a two can either break the high or the low, but it can only break one. So when we break the high, it's a two up. When we break the downside, it's a two down. But we have a two up that finished red, 
which gives me probability that this trade is going to continue down tomorrow. The other thing that helps out is this day, week, month, quarterly, and yearly are all to the downside. If we go look on the week, our week is currently inside bar. Our month is still inside bar. We're sitting at June 21st inside bar. Uh, I know a lot of people don't like to trade when we're on the inside bars on the weekly and the monthly when you're a day trader, just because it tends to chop around, but um, that's not going to stop me here. So we'll look for puts on AMC at $12.22. The other thing I should tell you guys, go check out, I've got a video on, on tickers on stocks with cheap premiums. So you guys with small accounts, go look at that video. I think there's about 10 or 20 different stocks on there that have cheaper premiums where you can buy contracts for 30 cents per contract or 40 or 50 or, or a dollar, which ends up being, you know, 30, 40 or $50 um, per contract. I should say 30 cents per share. So 30, 40 or 50 bucks per contract. Okay. Or, you know, if you're looking at a buck, it's a, it's a hundred bucks per contract. Okay. So you can go check out that video. Uh, that is one, two, three, four plays. BBBY is Bed Bath and Beyond has a two up that finished red, and then we've got a what we call a shooter candle. So we have this big long wick with this body at the bottom. Well, we can call it an inverse hammer or a shooter candle. Okay, so we have the full time frame to the downside, and we have a two up that we just talked about, and again we finished red. Okay, so we call this a failed two. Okay, we failed. We didn't, uh, we finished red on the day. So we can look for puts on this one at $6.65 and our first target or order of magnitude or pivot point or where the bulls have their stop losses. They all mean the same things. This is your first target. Okay. If you're looking for entries and exits, you can go check out my entry and exits video. If you're looking how to manage this thing, you can make this as soon as you break it, uh, that can be your stop loss. And CyberDog uh, Strat Soldier says this is what he does. We trigger and we come break back up. He's out of the trade. This is his, this is his stop loss always. Okay. So we trigger and come back up. He's out. We trigger. He's in. We come back out. He's out. And his goal is to hit this first target. My goal with options is not always that. Okay. So if we're in this range here, guys. And we see a reversal on, let's say, the five or the fifteen minute, um, back in the up in the in a different direction. Then I'm looking to take profits off of that reversal. And and if you're taking 10, 15, 20 percent on a trade every single trade, that adds up. And that's what I want you guys to look for when we're trading. I want you to look for those 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 percent gains. Those hundred and two hundred, three hundred, six hundred. 1,000% gains that you see people making, they're not common, okay? Yes, you see them on Twitter, but you don't see them everywhere. You you would be more likely, and if you go to a successful trader and ask any one of them what is the average gain on their trade, it's going to be somewhere between 5 and 30%. I guarantee you that. It won't be that 100, 150, 200, 300, 1,000% range, okay? Those consistent trades... If you can trade 20%, make 20% on a trade, and whether that's $100, $200, $300, $400 a day, $400 a day, guys, if you can make that, is $100,000 a year. That's more than most people make um, in a year by a lot. Okay? So even if you did $200 a day, you're looking at 50 grand a year from day trading for a couple hours a day. Okay? There's not very many jobs that you can take where you have that opportunity. And this is it. And that's why I said, I wish I had this opportunity when I was younger. Okay. So that's our play on Bed Bath & Beyond. I'll give you two bonus plays here. One is Oracle, O-R-C-L. So Oracle has a two up that finished red. Okay. Our low of the day here, our trigger is the same as this. So my first target on Oracle is going to be right here, the bottom of the wick. My next target on Oracle will be the top of the wick because there is no candle here. We have a gap, and when we have a gap, meaning there's no candle in between here and here, then we take the top of the wick to fill that gap, 
Okay, and then our next target would be the bottom of that candle. Okay, so that's the play on Oracle. Trigger puts at 67.39, full time frame to the downside on Oracle. And our last play here, guys, Lyft, L-Y-F-T. Lyft has a two up that finished red. And our time frame continuity is full red. There's no inside bars. We can look for this thing to trend down at $14.64 and take our first targets right right there and just before we i let you go guys i want to talk about a couple of things so one um, because this channel has been monetized i want to be able to give something back to you guys because this doesn't happen without you guys okay so you as subscribers use you as followers on twitter the people who engage and make the comments i want to reward you guys and give something back so i don't even know how much i'm going to make off of this first month uh, from this channel, but you know whether I can give somebody back 25 bucks or 50 bucks or 100 bucks or four people $25 or two people $25, I, I don't know. We'll come up with something, I'll do a little poll and see how you guys wanna handle it, but I wanna be able to give something back to you guys, so stay tuned and look, look for something um, in July uh, where I'm gonna offer you guys something back with some kind of a draw, okay? And the other thing I want to talk to you guys about is a little bit of trading psychology. And I, if you lose a trade, the worst thing you can do is revenge trade and, and be like, damn it, you know, I lost. I got I to gotta make my money. I got to get back in. That's the worst thing you can do because then your mind isn't focused on what you need to be focused on and following your rules, okay? I said this in one of my other videos. I was a goalie growing up uh, playing hockey, and I was always told if you let a goal in, just move on to the next one, okay? If you let a goal in, move on to the next one. You can't let that stuff bother you. You can't let a loss on a trade bother you. You have to have a clear mind and just move forward, okay? You lose that trade, you can go back and analyze it and see what happened and where you went wrong, but move on to that next trade. Yesterday's trade is yesterday's trade and there's always a new one, okay? There's always something new to get into, but we don't chase, we don't revenge trade, we don't trade angry. If you're frustrated, walk away, okay? There's no harm in walking away for the day and not trading and coming back the next day. And it's, trust me, it's easier said than done, but you need to rewire your brain to think that way. And the, the faster you do that and the more you do that, the easier trading will become. And another thing on the strat, I said this was the easiest strategy you will find. It's easy because it's simplified. And Rob Smith has simplified it. Because all we are doing is what the candlesticks are telling us to do. I said, there's no, you don't have to have those MACDs and RSIs and VWAPs. You don't need them, okay? What you need is the candlesticks telling you where to enter and where to exit. And I will tell you this. When you guys simplify trading, trading will become simplified. And that is exactly what the strat does. The strat simplifies trading and your trading becomes simplified. Ask any strater. This is the easiest way to trade by far. Um, so that's the video, guys. I hope you liked it. Make sure you are following me on Twitter. Subscribe down below. Watch those ads. Let's keep this stuff free. I hope you guys go green on Wednesday and for the rest of the week, and we will see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.